one of the community meetings that we had at one of the first studios in Mathari. I think it was St. Teresa's Church or something. We had a bunch of uh, Berkeley students, Nairobi students, community members, maybe a hundred or more people in that church. We had developed a beautiful PowerPoint presentation. And of course, because we were just understanding the dynamics, uh, we didn't plan as well for when the power would be shut off in the city of Nairobi. Uh, so the power was not on, and so we had to figure out a backup plan with maps and other things, that some of which we had brought. Um, and that kind of freaked out our students in the beginning. As we were presenting, um, some youth started to uh, come into the back of the room. They started ha engaging in, in some discussion, which sounded like an argument, but it was in Swahili, so I didn't fully understand what was happening, uh, at the back of the room, quite loud. And then they took it outside. And all along, our students are up in the front co-presenting with Mangano members about this you know, strategy and upgrading. Um, and I would later learn that this was uh, young folks from the community had, who had been paid by elders or structure owners or somebody, I'm not sure, to come disrupt the meeting. But the story that I heard was once they saw who we were and um, uh, heard about what we were up to, they said, hey man, maybe these guys aren't so bad. Maybe this isn't such a bad thing for us. And the argument, what the older guys wanted them to disrupt the meeting because they had paid them to do that. And it was telling for me, but what really struck me was after the meeting, we're all kind of hanging out outside and uh, you guys who had understood what was happening were translating and explaining to us and trying not to freak out our Berkeley students. One of the young, young guys, the youth from the community came up to me and said, hey, prof. And I said, hey, you know, I, said, I wasn't sure what he you know, if he was going to be confrontational or what. He came over and gave me a business card. And I can't remember exactly what it was, but I was really blown away. Like, this guy wanted to engage. This young guy from Mathare wanted to engage with us. Um, and he was like, you know, call me or text me or something. And it just had his name and his phone number on that. And I said, okay. Now, this was the breakthrough moment for us. We had connected with youth in the community that, you know, obviously distrusted outsiders. Um, and for some reason and for some small moment, they said, these guys aren't so bad. Maybe, you know, we want to continue the conversation. And for me, that, that, that was enough. That was enough to say, you know, hey, we, we've arrived a little bit, but we got to show and prove, as we say. We, we got to keep showing up uh, and proving that, that we're, we're committed.